Xiao Sifang opened her eyes for a while, then closed them, and opened them again. That person was still there. She took a deep breath, her chest rising and falling, as if she had held her breath, and her whole body trembled slightly. She slapped the hands that were pinching her face with a backhand slap, sat up straight, and grabbed the other person's collar. You? She choked as soon as she opened her mouth, and the collar in her hand was wrinkled into a ball, and it also tightly strangled the white neck wrapped in the collar. Too many emotions rushed into her brain at the same time. Joy, astonishment, excitement, fear, all kinds of emotions. Sweet, sour, bitter, spicy and salty mixed together, making her eyes red. Sin Bo was very obedient, without resistance, and let her catch him until she was satisfied and let him go. Xiao Sifang bit his knees, rested his elbows on his knees, and rubbed his hands heavily on his face. You lied to me again. Sin Bo sat up slightly and asked with a smile, How did I lie to you? I told you that nothing would happen. Isn't it all right now? Xiao Sifang raised his head and stared at him with red eyes. I agreed that I would be present when the new technology began to be tested, but I didn't receive any notice. You had already explained that if you succeeded, you would come to me yourself. And if you failed, you would let me always think that you were still frozen in the Life Research Institute. Right? Yes. Sin Bo admitted it readily. But then he started to blame the other person again. I reminded you before not to fall in the same place twice. But you never learn your lesson. You have to blame yourself. Xiao Sifang was silent for a while. And nodded unexpectedly. I have to blame myself. I will definitely learn from you in the future. The child has grown up and can fight back. Sin Bo showed no change of expression and immediately changed his words. I suggest you choose the best to learn. Dr. Chen. Xiao Sifang looked at him steadily. And after a while, she leaned over and hugged him vigorously, holding his shoulders, which were much broader than hers, in her arms. Eleven years is enough for her to grow into a truly strong and unyielding adult. Anyway, I am very, very happy to see you again. Sin Bo patted her back and whispered in her ear, I am also very, very happy to see you again. This long-awaited hug itself was not full of erotic thoughts. So Xiao Sifang, who was immersed in joy, did not notice the ambiguity of him deliberately leaning into her ear when he said this. Sin Bo did not expect her to notice that the little girl had grown up. But her mind was still as pure as before. It was normal for her to be slow to react. It was just convenient for him to deal with some irrelevant people without leaving any trace. She narrowed her eyes and looked straight at Dr. Chen, who was standing like a stick beside her. Her look of strong expulsion finally broke the third person's luck and made him flee. Okay. Xiao Sifan let him go, climbed down from the bed and put on her shoes, put the hat that was about to fall off his head down and put it on tightly again, and pulled him out. Let me calm down. I have a lot to ask you later. She said she wanted to calm down, but she didn't look like she was not calm now. Sin Bo didn't say anything, and still let her pull him obediently. The two of them passed through the confused crowd and were about to walk out of the door. The little nurse, who heard the recording that day finally came to her senses, and jumped up and followed him out. The 100-meter sprint successfully stopped the two people. Wait! Wait! Xiao Sifang subconsciously blocked the person behind him, and said, I won't return to the battlefield immediately. Don't worry. The little nurse blushed and said ashamedly, it's not because of this. I want to say. Want to say. She made up her mind. Pointed at the man who was half a head taller than Xiao Sifang. And said in one go, is his last name Sin. The question sentence turned into an affirmative sentence. And it was obvious that she already had the answer in her mind. There are many first aid rooms on the 1223 defense line. Basically existing in the form of independent space stations. But this one is built on an asteroid behind the front line together with the sanatorium. The surface of the planet was full of potholes, with no atmosphere, no water, and nothing except hard rock structures. The surroundings were desolate and extremely cold. The little nurse's heart was very hot, and her strong passion burned out from her eyes, and she fell in front of the two people with sparks flying. Xiao Sifang heard a laugh behind him, and said leisurely, My name is Sin. Thank you for your concern. He took off his hat, revealing a face that made the dark surroundings glow which was the face that the little nurse would miss and sigh from time to time. The little nurse was so excited that she almost fainted. She turned around in place before calming down, and asked with a fangirl face, 
Can I take a photo with you? I promise not to spread it. When she thought about taking a photo with her idol, she felt so excited that she could run around the planet three times in one breath. But what she didn't expect was that her idol refused without even thinking about it. No. The nurse's breath was cut off in her throat. She looked gloomy and didn't forget to make excuses for her idol and herself. Oh, I understand. It's normal for you not to trust me since we haven't met before. It's not a question of trust or not. Sinbo looked no different from any of the videos she had seen before. He was gentle and polite. But because he stood too high, it was inevitable that people would feel alienated. I just don't want to take a photo. His eyebrows were flying. And it seemed that he was telling the truth because he was in such a good mood. The little nurse was stunned and looked at him stupidly. This willful man had no idea how many people would be sad after his true face was completely exposed. Of course, he wouldn't care even if he knew. Xiao Sifang couldn't stand it anymore, and hurriedly said goodbye and dragged people away. They walked hundreds of meters in one breath, and stopped only when there was no one at the door of the emergency room. No words were spoken along the way. The sanatorium was in sight. Two rows of very simple makeshift houses, firmly nailed to the ground with huge nails and each door was like an eye looking out. Dark, and occasionally the light of the high-hanging street lamp shone in, reflecting a frightening dark light. Although it has a soothing and warm name like the sanatorium, its essence is just a place to stay. Only when someone is injured will they come back here, choose an empty room, spread their own bedding, and live there for a few days, and return to the front line immediately after the injury is healed, without wasting any time. The environment here is bad. There is no popularity. No sense of belonging. Only the first aid room is lively. And this liveliness is also bitter. Making fun of the bitterness. If there is a choice. No one wants to stay in such a ghost place for a minute. Xiao Sifang took him to sit on a stone chair he had carved out. No. It cannot be simply summarized as a stone chair. Because it really doesn't look like a chair. It was just a rectangular hole dug out from a protruding stone over two meters high. People could sit on the bottom side of the rectangular hole and leaned their backs against the back side. Finally, they had a space to be alone together. Instead, they both fell silent. An indescribable atmosphere enveloped them. It seemed that these eleven years had taken effect, making them cold and unfamiliar. The street lights nearby seemed dim here. Xiao Sifang, who was leaning on the back of the chair, had only the tip of his nose surrounded by light, and most of his face was sunk into darkness. Sin Bo's eyes changed color, and he could see the person clearly. She clasped her hands together, her whole body trembling. She was far from being as calm as she had just shown. Eleven years was a night without dreams for Sin Bo. But it was not the case for Xiao Sifang. She had spent eleven years, two years studying hard at Chris College, and nine years fighting in this bitter cold place. Every day seemed to pass quickly and slowly. When fighting on the front line, there was no energy to think about anything else. So time passed quickly, but once you stopped and remembered that there was someone you couldn't contact, you would be extremely tormented. As time went by, this feeling was not so painful, but it made people particularly unhappy. It was like a lead weight was always hanging in her throat, causing a slight pain, and there was always a blockage there, which could never be overcome. When she opened her eyes and saw the person she could not contact, she felt like she was dreaming, and she still felt like she was dreaming, because she was in a dream. She methodically did everything she subconsciously thought she should do. She controlled her emotions to make herself look mature and decent, blaming him for taking the initiative to prevent her from witnessing the danger of rebirth. And when he blamed her, she fought back with her increasingly agile tongue, and then hugged him very, very maturely to welcome him back to this world, and finally asked him to what extent his body had recovered. Now, she was just one step away, and she suddenly backed off. Dreams are never perfect and she was afraid that this last question would become a catastrophe after this beautiful dream. So she didn't dare to continue according to the process. She was really too scared. Sinbo looked at her quietly, and was also thinking about these eleven years. From the perspective of time span, the year in which their lives overlapped was too short compared to these eleven years, and could even be called insignificant. It may not be difficult for a person to recall what impressive things happened eleven years ago, but it is difficult to clearly remember what he felt when that happened, without fresh feelings to make up for the lost emotions. Only the material memory is empty, which is also the main reason why people's emotions fade over time. He didn't know how much physical memory the girl 
who made his heart feel moist still had after 11 years, and whether she still had some emotions from the past, and whether she would still hug him without hesitation when he could no longer see that her human form might turn into a completely alien at any time. Time can smooth everything. So time is the biggest enemy of emotions. He didn't have to think so complicated, because his emotions were still very simple. Hate is hate. Jealousy is jealousy. Like is like. Irrelevant is indifferent. But when his world began to come alive, he would hate and fear at the same time. So he would risk returning to the palace because he was afraid of death and wanted to find an opportunity to take away the equipment and personnel that were hidden perfectly by the old emperor. When the research team told him that there was no way to reduce or even stop his rising alienation rate and he could only be frozen, he chose the most extreme option because he didn't want to face the fear that Sifong might be sad because of him. He deceived her and himself, trying his best to take revenge on the person who completely destroyed his life, while looking forward to an accidental death. If he died in the front, he wouldn't have to feel the kind of fear that made people feel confused. But he didn't die in the end. And fortunately, he didn't die. So he got a hug that was so strong that it almost wiped out his misfortunes in the past few decades. However, since fear already exists, it will be everywhere. Fear of gain and loss is also a kind of fear. 11 years is not 11 minutes, nor 11 days, or 11 hours. No matter how deep the gully is, it can be filled without a trace if you try hard. Can he still be remembered? Suddenly, Xiao Sifong bent down deeply and buried his face in his thighs. The warm and moist air opened a hole and began to flow, like the eternally rushing water in his heart. This feeling was no different from the previous few days that he clearly remembered. His heart calmed down all of a sudden, looking at the girl lying on his thighs in the dimness and crying silently, and gently stroked the top of her head. Time is something that has to be accepted, since the blank part already exists. It is useless to refuse. Facing it head-on is the only way. Do you remember what you promised me? The red face that had been crying slowly lifted up, as if ready for everything, and met his eyes. His slightly lowered face was very gentle, and his voice was full of infinite tolerance. Not at all like the Sinbo who did whatever he wanted. Before I die, you have to be bound to me. Wherever I go, you have to go, this matter. He smiled easily. I'll give you a chance to regret it. Xiao Sifang opened his eyes wide, took in the extremely tolerant face completely, and his heart suddenly relaxed. She pushed forward with her hands, pressed him against the stone wall, and her expression gradually became fierce. It's really a dream. But even if it's a dream, you can't expect me to tear up my promise. Not even with Sin Bo's face. Sin Bo was stunned and blinked. I will be discharged from the army in more than half a year. When I go to the cleanup bureau, I will definitely find a catastrophic material that can theoretically offset the impact of alienation. She paused here and changed her words. Even if I can't find it in my lifetime, I will make a replacement plan and let others continue to look for it. And then fulfill my promise for me. When I wake up, I will start this plan. Xiao Sifang couldn't say anything more. Because the person she was pinching by the neck was already shaking with laughter. And she didn't even need to exert any force. And he fell down on the stone wall behind him. She silently let go of her hand and wanted to sit back to calm down and think about what went wrong. Someone pressed her waist and her knees hit the stone wall and she sat on the thigh that was soaked by her tears. After Sin Bo hugged her, he put his head on her shoulder and couldn't stop laughing. How could he forget that if a person thinks about something for decades, he can get emotional reinforcement all the time. So how can he let it fade? Si Fong is so stubborn that he can fight for a goal all his life. So how can he let go and let it be wiped out by time before the goal is achieved? After a long time, Xiao Sifang realized that he might have made a joke. Sin Bo finally stopped laughing, met her inquiring eyes, and said, We are going to make a plan. So why is this real creditor who came to collect the debt strangled? Not a dream? It's real. Xiao Sifang's head was buzzing. And she finally recovered. She was about to cry and repent. When a strong light suddenly swept over from behind. There. Come on. Before they could react, a group of people in uniforms rushed up and surrounded them. Lin Yu walked to the front of the separated crowd with a dark face, grabbed his granddaughter who subconsciously blocked the wanted criminal, and asked the people behind him to catch her with a glance. This series of events happened too quickly, and Xiao Sifang was confused. What happened? The former director of the supervision bureau glanced at the man in three layers of shackles and sneered, You have to ask him. 
he hasn't even finished the first cycle of treatment. And he ran away as soon as he could get out of bed. How can he be so capable? In response, Sin Bo smiled calmly, not thinking that he had done anything wrong. Xiao Sifang. Tof. She was no longer excited. Unusually calm. The people from the hospital took the person away neatly. Lin Yu looked at his granddaughter and hesitated to speak. Before he could figure out how to teach her not to sit on a man's lap casually, he was preempted. Xiao Sifan was really calm and asked calmly, Grandpa, Sin Bo came out of the sealed cabin and I didn't receive any news. Apart from his own obstruction, what role did you play in this? Lin Yu, I suddenly remembered that your brother asked you to call him back. He has been thinking about it for a long time. Go to the communication room and call him. I have something else to do. So I'm leaving first. He strode back as he spoke, as if there was something cannibalistic chasing him. The surroundings became quiet again. Xiao Sifang sat on the stone chair and laughed alone after a while. Communications room. Alas, I have to go on a business trip. I am so tired of playing nice with those people who don't understand what I say. Xiao Bamian on the screen had his hair shaved very short and said the most depressing words with a very energetic face. I am a technician. Why do I have to do such things? I complained to my parents and they scolded me, saying that I am not motivated. It is basically a problem of atmosphere. Things that can be settled in a few words have to be negotiated. It is annoying. Too annoying. Xiao Sifang listened to his long chatter and said slowly, Why don't you join the Republican Army? And you won't be annoyed at all when you are on the front line. I won't come. Xiao Bamian looked at her with disdain. You can say that I have a low level of ideological awareness. But I don't want to be like you. Thin and ugly. If you keep being rough, you will end up alone. You don't know. I went home some time ago and happened to see my mother chatting with Yang Depang's mother. Talking about the blind date arrangements after you return from the army. Five or six have been arranged for you. Xiao Sifang was shocked. Tell your aunt that I don't need it. Come on. Xiao Bamian didn't stand on the side of this chief sister. You really have to make some arrangements. My mother's vision in selecting people is good. They are all famous young talents in our district. Although they are not as good as you in career. They are all good-tempered. Gentle and docile. And their families are all down to earth. I have met them all. They are all well-mannered and pay more attention to inner qualities. They do not have futile ideas and do not require the woman to be beautiful. Gentle and family-oriented. You can choose from them. You can do whatever you want in the future. I guarantee they will not give a shit. Xiao Sifang. You are so happy to talk about it. Have you chosen it yourself? One strike kills. Xiao Bamian immediately changed the subject. Okay. I will tell my parents that you will go back to the supervisory star to take the exam and come back after the cleanup bureau. I wish you a safe journey. The call was hung up. Xiao Sifang got goosebumps when she thought of the blind date candidates who were lining up. She quickly shook her head to sweep away these shadows and turned to leave the communication room. Her luggage was already packed and she could leave with the other veterans. When she passed by the small mirror on the wall, she strangely remembered Bamian's words again. She stopped unconsciously and looked at her face carefully in the mirror because she was young and didn't like to frown. She didn't have wrinkles yet. Her skin was generally smooth and didn't get dark, but she was too lazy to remove the scars due to constant injuries. So the deep and shallow scars were left, which was indeed a bit ugly. She was really thin, with high cheekbones on both cheeks, and she looked a little sharper. This feeling reached its peak when the spaceship landed and she saw other ordinary girls living in the back at the docking port. For a moment, she felt ashamed of herself, although her inner pride soon drove away this inferiority complex about her appearance. She still cared about this matter. Sister, here, outside the docking port, Linchen's tall figure waved his hand and became the most conspicuous person in the crowd. Xiao Sifang walked towards him quickly. Didn't you say you don't need to come to pick me up? I can go by myself. No. Linchen was very firm in his attitude on such issues. Others have people to pick them up. But my sister can't be without one. Xiao Sifang was numb after hearing this and responded in a cooperative way. Thank you, brother. Although he had grown up and his temperament became more majestic. Linchen was still very easy to satisfy in this regard. A title could make him happy for several days. He was happy. And Xiao Sifang was happy too. Even though she was on the front line in recent years. They would definitely call each other every month. Their feelings had long been extraordinary. 
and he was forced to call her brother. Lin Shen was tall, but he was very thoughtful. Along the way, he saw her sneaking a peek at the little movements of the girls passing by from time to time, and he began to plan in his mind. After Xiao Sifang returned to the Lin family, washed up, and woke up from a nap, the two aunts who were not too familiar with her came together and took her to the beauty salon to remove scars and change her appearance. Set a set of skin skin processes on her. Can you finish the scars for an hour? Too many scars for two hours? I said that I was a little wrong in my mind of the surname Lin. And I did and take it seriously. Don't say it. Can you get back? Alive. Oh. You can order this little mole of her chin by the way. You have to do the dead skin on the hand. Make a brightening. Xiao Sifang felt that he was an alien person on the experimental desk and was pressed holding his hands and feet, turning over and over. While she was tossing, the two had also ordered a water replenishment package himself, lying on the massage bed and chatting. What do your eldest son want a child? Have you been married for a year or two? Just get married. Who cares about him from now on? My little one is dating too. I guess he'll be brought home in two or three years. Your lynch and should also be ready. Right? I'm looking. But I haven't noticed anyone I like yet. Oh. By the way. Have you asked Sifong to pay attention? I saw a nice boy last month. From the Institute of Science and Technology. We must have something in common. Of course. I have a candidate too. The son of my sister-in-law's friend is pretty good. 35 years old this year. Handsome. His family owns a company. He's the only son. And his assets of hundreds of millions belong to him. He seems good. Of course. I've already made the arrangements. As long as Sifang agrees. We can try right away. Xiao Sifang. This is another place of trouble. We should leave early. She was touched from head to toe by the ladies in the beauty salon. And was released after four hours. She felt her feet were floating when she walked. Before she could even step firmly on the ground. The two ants came to greet her happily. One by one. They pulled her to look at and touch her. And they all breathed a sigh of relief. You looked at it wrong. It's so beautiful and white. I'll pick it later. I'll take a look too. And find a few more. As the person involved. Xiao Sifang did not have any chance to speak during the whole process. After leaving the beauty salon. She was thrown into the hair salon next door. And sat there for another two hours. During this time. The two ants were afraid that she would be hungry. So they brought her some fruit to fill her stomach and took care of their own hair. The hairdresser cut the dried hair below with two cuts, leaving only the length to her chin that was just enough to tie it up, and then slightly curled the end of her hair. After coming out, the ants closed their eyes and praised her, and then continued to drag her to the next stop to buy new clothes. Xiao Sifang was shocked when she entered the clothing store that the ants carefully selected for young girls. All the beautiful dresses hanging on the wall looked like the wedding dress that Yang de Peng wore when she got married. The ants looked at her shocked face, and then looked at her clothes and pants that were particularly simple and ready for battle, and reflected on themselves. It's our fault. Yes, it's our fault. You can't pick it out yourself. We can pick it out for you to try. Xiao Sifang. Fortunately, the ants were very reliable. They didn't force those soft gauze skirts on her. They picked skirts with neat cuts and simple styles. When she changed her clothes and stood in front of the mirror, she felt like a completely different person. Although her face was still the same. She looked like an ordinary girl who had lived here since she was a child and was loved. She was a little uncomfortable. But she felt very happy from the bottom of her heart to take off the gray layer and become bright and beautiful. Especially when she saw the beautiful clerk who smiled and praised her was wearing a brown identity ring on her hand. The relief and satisfaction were almost indescribable. If only everyone could finally shed that gray layer and live the life they want. She pursed her lips, revealing two dimples on her lips. Thank you. Auntie. I like it very much. The two aunties were stunned, then laughed, holding her arms on the left and right, and really let go of their posture. Oh, my heart is melting. Why didn't I give birth to a daughter like you? Sifang, let's pick a few more. I have been looking forward to dressing up a beautiful little girl for decades. They were a little cautious at first. And they didn't dare to talk to this niece, who was so young that she turned the whole galaxy upside down. They were afraid that the topic they found was too shallow and boring. And they were also afraid of a dull atmosphere. So they could only chat with each other constantly, pull the niece into the topic indirectly, and slowly get close to each other. 
so that everyone could get closer. Now it seems that this niece is capable but not thoughtful. She is honest and straightforward and is easier to get along with than their son. Early the next morning, the two aunts happily planned to take their niece out to show her face again. But they only saw Lynchon's indifferent face. Lynchon's mother asked him to go away with disgust. Don't block the way. I'm here to find Sifong. She's gone. Gone? The two women raised their voices together. Lynchon, she went to the main star to calm down the situation. She said she would come back to see you when she is free. And what else? She said she has someone she likes. So you don't have to worry about it. The two women looked at each other. Worried? How can you enjoy life if you have to take charge of the place at such a young age? And is the person she likes okay? I won't agree if the conditions are not good. She is young and easy to be deceived. Find a chance to lure the person out. And we can meet secretly to check. That's a way. Anyway, you should keep an eye on the person first. We see Fong deserve better. Yeah. Lynch and looked at the backs of the two women leaving together and twitched his mouth. Better? I'm afraid it's hard to find. Main Star. Life Research Institute. When Xiao Sifang arrived, Sin Bo was playing chess with Lin Yu. The two were equally skilled, and it was hard to tell who was the winner. There were only a few pieces left on the chessboard. Seeing her coming in, Sin Bo, who was wearing shackles on his hands and feet, defeated Lin Yu and stood up after the game. Lin Yu was not angry even though he lost, and said lightly, You are inconvenient to move, so you should sit down. He lost on the chessboard, but he was sure to win in reality. I will make sure you don't have the opportunity to make a move. It's not inconvenient. Sin Bo lowered his head, and the shackles on his hands and feet broke inch by inch while he was talking, turning into a pile of broken copper and iron. Lin Yu turned his head to stop his granddaughter, who was particularly beautiful and cute today, and said with a fierce face, Aren't you preparing for the exam for the cleanup bureau? What are you doing here? Xiao Sifong glanced behind him, and answered honestly. He sent me a message yesterday saying that he was too bored and wanted to change the environment to play for a few days. The treatment was not over yet. I was afraid that he really ran away. So I brought him some things. Lin Yu. If he wants to run, he will definitely go to you. You are asking for trouble by delivering yourself to me. But since he is here, he is not such an unkind elder. He snorted coldly. I will give you half a minute. No. Ten minutes and then one of you will go to treatment, and the other will go back to prepare for the exam. After saying that, he put his hands behind his back and left without seeing anything. Xiao Sifang thought that ten minutes would be enough. He turned around and pushed the person back to the previous position. He sat in Lin Yu's previous position and took out a ninth-level magic cube from the space button and handed it to the opposite side. Sin Bo took it, and his eyes fell on her. Why did you bring this to me? Xiao Sifang explained. This was recommended to me by Bamian. He said it's fun to play with it when you're bored. I've been too busy and haven't had a chance to use it. You can try it. Sin Bo gently put the Rubik's Cube on the table. I don't think I'll like this one. The gift was rejected. Xiao Sifang was a little disappointed. Okay. Then I'll find something else. How long will it take for you to be released? It'll take another month. Just in time. Xiao Sifang became happy again. Her emotions always changed quickly. The exam for the cleanup bureau is next month. After I pass the exam and get the certificate, I can participate in the complete ruins cleanup. Wherever you want to go, I will apply to be transferred there. Aren't you bored? Make a plan. Where do you want to go? The pair of shining eyes stared at him directly, with a cheerful expression, and a smile as sweet as her voice. I think, Sin Bo's eyes moved from her lips to her eyes, revealing a different smile than usual. Come closer. I'll tell you. Xiao Sifang looked back at the door that was not closed. And then at the shadow cast in the door. He thought that he must have some bad ideas that his grandfather couldn't hear. So he didn't doubt it. Leaned forward. Leaned over the table with his upper body. And tilted his ears. Go ahead and talk. Sin Bo also moved forward a few dozen centimeters. His warm breath sprayed on the white and small earlobes. And his voice was like a feather. Gently scratching the deep of the ear. Today Sifang looks like a grown-up girl. The red instantly spread from the ear roots to the earlobes. And Xiao Sifang's heart dropped with a thump. And she subconsciously turned her face to look at him. The slender and powerful hand raised up and gently pressed the back of her neck. The perfectly shaped thin lips approached and kissed the corners of her naturally upturned mouth. Xiao Sifang vaguely heard a bang. 
and all the hot blood rushed to her head, making her dizzy and unable to think. The warmth belonging to another person quickly left, and after a second of hesitation, it stuck closely again. The pressure on the back of her neck gradually increased, and the lingering affection spread. Tender and lingering, Xiao Sifang clearly smelled the deep and long fragrance on him. The strong scent brought by the mysterious healing power. So vivid, like a hundred flowers blooming. Since you are a big girl, he finally stepped back, and the face favored by the creator smiled like an angel in the illustration. And his slender fingers rubbed against her slightly panting red lips, lingering and caressing. Then I won't be considered bullying a child. It turns out that growing up is such an exciting and sudden thing. Xiao Sifang's mind was in a mess. And she didn't really realize what had just happened until she walked out of the Life Research Institute. Kissing is something that can only be done in a particularly intimate state. And she and Sin Bo just did it. Does it mean that they are already in that kind of particularly intimate relationship? Just thinking about this, her face was already very hot. A little scorching. She exhaled and fanned with her hands, trying to drive away the heat on her face. Don't think about it for now. Think about it after the exam of the cleanup bureau. After standing for about two minutes, she waved this matter away and lowered her head to open a map. The headquarters of the cleanup bureau is located on the monitoring star. It would have been nice to stay at the Lin family to prepare for the exam. But unfortunately her aunts were too concerned about her personal life. In order to prepare for the exam without distraction, it would be better not to stay at the Lin family. She originally wanted to find a short-term rental house to stay for a month. But after that, she instinctively mentioned her plan when chatting with Sin Bo. And then got the door card from Sin Bo. Stay at my place. He didn't say much. And just knocked Xiao Sifang down with a seemingly casual reason. I have a study room. Which is quite suitable for studying. An hour later. Xiao Sifang arrived at the destination smoothly. And stood at the door of the 3 meter high and 5 meter wide gate. This is the entrance to the manor. A wide road in the middle leads directly to a quiet house a few hundred meters away. The road is lined with green grass and short shrubs around a few large trees, making the whole manor look lively and tall. Xiao Sifan likes beautiful things, but she is also a realist without much aesthetic cells. After a few words of admiration, she began to calculate in her mind how many star coins such a large manor is worth, and whether she can buy one in her lifetime. Xiao Xiao, who had been notified long ago, had been watching the movement at the door. As soon as she saw the target, she hurried over to open the door. Is it Sifang? She was wearing a very professional suit. Her hair was cut to the roots of her ears, and her eyebrows were neat and heroic. Xiao Sifang was particularly fond of her as soon as he saw her, and nodded immediately. Xiao Xiao introduced herself with a smile. I am the housekeeper of the manor. My last name is Xiao. Mr. Tsun just contacted me to arrange a room for you to stay in. Now I will take you to walk around the garden first. Okay. Thank you. Xiao Xiao acted neatly and her tone was very soft when she took her to familiarize herself with the manor, in order to prevent her from being bored. She also mixed in some things that happened in the past, which made Xiao Sifang listen with relish. Don't think that there are few people now. When Mr. Tsun was the vice president of the Life Research Institute, there were servants everywhere, on the one hand, in order to deal with Mr. Tsun's instructions in a timely manner. On the other hand, Xiao Qiao blinked. It was the royal family at that time who put pressure on him, and created a psychological advantage. You are deceiving yourself. How pitiful. Xiao Sifang's evaluation was merciless. Xiao Xiao, isn't it? Because there were so many people in factions. The internal fighting was very fierce at that time. Even if you were just a small servant, you might be involved in all kinds of right and wrong, and be replaced by others without knowing it. Everyone tried hard to stay, but when the war broke out, everyone ran away. Xiao Sifang glanced at her subconsciously. Xiao Chia was very frank, if I hadn't had nowhere to go, I would have run away too. The two looked at each other and laughed. Xiao Chiao, after the victory of the alliance, Mr. Tsun disappeared, and Lord Sean took over the manor temporarily. When he saw that I was still there, he directly promoted me to be the housekeeper. For me, this is really a blessing in disguise. Oh, that's the rose garden over there. I'll take you in to have a look. The rose garden covers a large area. There are two tables and chairs for resting in this garden alone. Surrounded by countless roses. Like a fairyland on earth. So beautiful. Xiao Sifeng praised. Xiao Qiao shook her head regretfully. It was much more beautiful when Mr. Tsun was here than it is now. Wait until he comes back 
and let him take you around in person. The two chatted and walked. And before they knew it, they had visited the entire manor. Xiao Xiao looked very capable and handsome. But in essence, she was still an ordinary person who was weak and helpless. After walking around, she was so tired that her ankles twisted. She smiled bitterly and said, I haven't walked for so long in a long time. Are you okay? Xiao Xifang, who could fight for two days and two nights without sleep during the war, smiled shyly and said modestly, I'm fine. That's good. I'll take you to your room. Xiao Xiao cheered up and led the way into the three-story main house with an area of about 500 square meters. She introduced it as she walked. The first floor is the restaurant, living room and training room. The second floor is the library. And the third floor is where Mr. Sun lives daily. She took Xiao Xifan directly to the third floor, walked to the end of the corridor, and opened a door. Because Mr. Sun's notice was a bit sudden, and there were no guest rooms on the third floor. After obtaining Mr. Sun's consent, we temporarily changed the original audiovisual playback room into a guest room. Xiao Xiao hesitated and asked, Do you think the original equipment should be dismantled? The complete set of equipment in the room was still well assembled, but it was moved forward two meters, and a bed was added against the wall. There was a large screen directly opposite the bed. It looked very suitable for studying. Xiao Xifang was very satisfied and shook his head. No. Let's leave it like this. Xiao Xiao breathed a sigh of relief and smiled. Then do you want to rest first? Xiao Xifang didn't rest. She didn't do anything today. She would feel guilty if she wasted time. Seeing this, she proposed to stay in the library on the second floor for a while. Xiao Xiao. Are you really not tired? No. Not tired. Xiao Xiao had no choice but to take him downstairs and open the door of the library. The first second she entered the door, Xiao Xifang knew that she fell in love with this place. The reason was simple. At the first glance, she found the book detailed explanation of catastrophic materials on the first bookshelf she saw, which made her eyes shine. Looking to the side, books like Analysis of Alienation Principles, Pathology and Repair, Brief Discussion of Catastrophic Impacts, Malignant Cell Theory, and so on were all shining, making her unable to look away. Who in this world can remain indifferent and not be deeply involved? Anyway, she just wanted to pounce on these heavy words and kiss them. As soon as Xiao Xifang stepped in, she was completely captivated. As expected, it was a library that occupied the entire second floor. There were dozens of bookshelves and bookcases of all sizes, neatly arranged in categories. She even saw the Bible of Manufacturing Professionals ideology conversion, and real material control. She was almost moved to tears. Xiao Xiao looked at her, who was about to cry with joy, and finally put her heart into her stomach and laughed. Xiao Xifang was stunned for a moment and turned her head. What's wrong? Xiao Xiao shook her head and nodded, and told me frankly, when Mr. Sun notified me, I asked him what to call you. He told me to just call you Xifang and treat you as my own friend. I know Mr. Sun is afraid that you will feel uncomfortable. But I am also a little worried that you will think I am taking advantage of Xiao and make things difficult for me in the future. Xiao Xifang was stunned. Why do you think so? Xiao Xiao did not hide it from her and told her the truth in the past. Many people wanted to be the future owner of this manor and tried every means to get in. They wore the same clothes as me, but always relied on their background to boss people around. So I have a shadow on the owner. And I am afraid of offending you. No. 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 I won't do that. Xiao Xifang subconsciously denied it, but then felt that it was wrong, and hurriedly added, not the owner of one yet. Xiao Xiao already knew what kind of person she was, and boldly joked, you will be in the future. Xiao Xifang pursed his lips. His face flushed. The strong aroma seemed to linger in her nose again. After a while, she overcame her shyness with her strong psychological quality and said calmly and frankly, no matter social status wealth level or knowledge literacy. We are very different. I still have a long way to go. Xiao Xiao turned around and smiled secretly, and then said seriously, then I won't disturb you and go forward. If you have anything, just call me at any time. I'm downstairs. Okay. Okay. As soon as she left, Xiao Xifang went to get the detailed explanation of catastrophic materials that he had seen first. The feeling of holding a paper book in your hand is completely different from that of an electronic book. The progress bar of the latter is visible. And it always carries a sense of urgent urging. But the former is not the case. When flipping through it, 
you actually feel a leisurely feeling. The book was very new, and there was hardly any sign of it having been read. She scanned the table of contents and carefully turned to the part that interested her most. First floor. After going down the stairs, Xiao Xiao thought about it and decided to prepare some rich refreshments for the future master of the book who had no heirs at all. To consolidate the relationship and ensure that her position as a butler would remain unchanged for a hundred years. But she never expected that when she left the main house and went to the kitchen to give a few words, Xiao Xifang would have an accident after the royal family was overthrown. Sean, as a hostage, returned to the side of Grand Marshal Austin as he wished and inherited his father's business and fought on the front line. Unfortunately, his luck was really a little bit worse. In just 10 years, he was injured and had to return to the main planet for recuperation. Whenever he felt his house was cold and lonely, he would come to St. Bo's Manor to stay for a while and let Xiao Xiao, who also had no company, chat with him to relieve his loneliness. Today was the same. After he finished a cruel restoration, he felt more and more empty, lonely and cold inside. He couldn't stay at home for two minutes. So he put on his little hat that had not changed for decades and came to the manor. He entered the main house. And when he didn't find Xiao Xiao on the first floor, he went up to the second floor. The library was extremely precious. And Xiao Xiao didn't trust others to clean it. So she dusted it once a week, calculating the time. Today happened to be dusting day. He had just stepped into the open door. And before he went in, a voice called out, Xiao Xiao, where are you? Come out and follow me. His eyes rolled and fell on the stranger sitting on the bay window. A scholar. A young scholar. A well-dressed young scholar. A well-dressed young scholar who was so bold as to flip through books without permission. He narrowed his eyes and thought to himself. He is well informed. It seems that he not only knows that Sin Bo is still alive, but also knows that he will be released from the Sheng Yuan soon. Whose family could he be from? After the end of the imperial rule, the first-class resident status was directly abolished. All families without people on the front line were expelled to live on ordinary semi-ruined planets. The ministers in the imperial system were basically beaten back to their original form. Could there be a fish that slipped through the net? Or is it the bees and butterflies of the Xingyuan? While he was looking at Xiao Xifang, Xiao Xifang was also looking at him. This person looked familiar, as if he had seen him somewhere before. Xiao An didn't find a suitable candidate, so he simply drove him away. I don't care who you are. If you know what's good for you, leave immediately. Otherwise don't blame me for being rude. He looked bad. His tone was bad. And the word disgust was written directly on his forehead. Xiao Xifang thought he must have misunderstood something. So she stood up and explained, I didn't come in without permission. Sin Bo. However, Xiao An didn't give her a chance to speak and snatched the book from her hand. Xiao Xifang avoided it reflexively, seeing that she was able to dodge. Sean laughed out loud. Great. Another one from two majors. I said you have this ability. Why can't you do something? His hand changed from claw to fist. And the fist was toward Xiao Xifang. The latter easily blocked him back, put down the book with one hand, and jumped away from the bay window that restricted his performance. I don't know who you are and why you hit people right away. But I did get permission to come here. If you don't believe me, you can ask Xiao Xiao. Sean, and then you took the opportunity to slip away? Xiao Xifang. I suspect there is something wrong with your brain. Sean laughed out loud. Wow. Amazing. I've seen many people like you. But this is the first time I've seen someone as righteous as you. The two men started fighting again. And Xiao Xifang frowned at the opponent's unrestrained strength. Okay. Since we are all fighters. Let's finish the fight first. When Xiao Xiao was called back by other servants, the two had already developed to the point where no one dared to intervene. On the one hand, Xiao Xiao was stunned by the powerful fighting power of the future master one. And on the other hand, she felt pain for Sean, who was beaten three times in just a few seconds. Stop fighting. Master Sean, this is the guest invited by Mr. Tsun to live in the manor. Sean covered his burning right ribs, retreated and shouted, why are you calling me? Do you think I can control the current situation? As soon as he finished speaking, Xiao Xifang threw the man to the ground. It was over. Xiao An was humiliated and held his breath. He fell to the ground and was still unconvinced. If I wasn't in the recovery period, do you think you could be my opponent? Xiao Xifang brushed the hem of her skirt, stood up from him, and snorted coldly. 
If I wasn't wearing a skirt today, you wouldn't last a minute. Xiao Qiao. In any case, the fight was over. Xiao Sifang returned to the library and picked up the book to continue reading. Xiao and limped downstairs, sat on the sofa in the living room, and pulled Xiao Qiao to ask for details. A guest invited back by Tsin Bo? Who has such a big face? I just took a look, and it seems that this is still a refugee. Xiao Qiao gave him an ice pack and said, This is the future Mrs. Xian. Xiao In felt that his ears and brain might be broken, and twisted his swollen face to ask again, Who do you say she is? Mr. Tsin's other half. Xiao In grabbed Xiao Qiao's hand that was holding the ice pack and moving slowly, and shuddered violently. No, I don't agree. This article is so fierce. It's not worthy of my brother. After howling, he immediately played the video to his brother. And while waiting for the call to be connected, he said in a mysterious way, I will never agree. I must persuade him. The iron tree can bloom. But the iron tree must not bloom iron flowers. Otherwise how can we live in the future? As soon as Sin Bo's face popped up on the screen, he resolutely crossed his face to show his attitude. Sin Bo looked at the background behind him then looked at his face, and smiled happily. It seems that you and Sifong get along very well. A crackling flash of lightning flashed, and Xiao En slapped his thigh heavily, finally remembering. Sifong? Xiao Sifong? I was wondering why she looked so familiar. Damn. This is really a flood that has washed away the Dragon King Temple. I was wondering why a casual encounter with a wing could be so good at fighting. To be honest, Wen has really changed a lot. I saw her once on the front line a few years ago. At that time, she was dirty and gray. You can't tell that she can be so beautiful after dressing up. Sin Bo smiled. Does beauty have anything to do with you? Sean. He caught a glimpse of the top hat that the servant had picked up and put aside. It was wrinkled. Just like his wounded heart. He hung up the phone angrily and quickly logged onto a social platform account to vent. The little prince of top hat, you are a piece of trash who has no humanity for the opposite sex. I have waited for you for more than ten years. I am vomiting and vomiting to death, blood spraying, blood spraying, blood spraying, as a famous surfing expert in the military. His account has the certification of being a childhood friend of the Holy Father. In addition to his acquired efforts, he also has tens of thousands of fans. As soon as this dynamic was sent out, it attracted the attention of some true fans. Take off your hat for you. What's wrong with you? Husband? The little prince in the top hat replied to take off his hat for you. I told you. A grown man. Don't call me husband. Dang on. Ten years and a day. Ah. This is a lot of information. Eating melon. Little. Shui. I think what the above person said is right. Sin Bo is still alive. Right. He didn't leave us. Right. We still have a chance to love him well. Right. SRDS ah. I finally waited for you, tears, 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 at Holy Father Fans Club. It went completely wrong after just a few comments. Sean watched the comments scrolling faster and faster. And the more and more keywords such as Holy Father and Bo Daddy completely drowned out the comments that cared about him. And he was almost angry to death. Then let's kill each other. He typed a line of big words in the comment area in a rage. The little prince of top hat, believe me, he is not worth it at all. He is just a piece of trash. The kind of at Holy Father Fans Club at Guardian Beauty Strong Miserable at Tomorrow that will always wait. 20 minutes later, four terms were searched in a row. Sin Bo's friend claims that Sin Bo is still alive. Sin Bo is in love. Holy Father, please come out. I finally waited for you. Sean raised his green eyes, looked at Xiao Qiao expressionlessly and asked, Why is there no term Sin Bo is trash? Xiao Qiao looked at him sympathetically and said, Because no one thinks so. And besides, you will cause trouble to Mr. Cien. Sean, you are right. He jumped up from the sofa and fled the manor in a hurry. It's what he deserves. He values women over friends. Just bear with it. Ha 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 ha. How happy it is to wander in the ocean of knowledge. Only those who have truly wandered in the ocean of knowledge can understand. During the period before the exam, Xiao Sifang, apart from visiting Sin Bo at the Life Research Institute, spent the rest of her time either in the library or sitting on the sofa in the room, enjoying the visual feast of knowledge on the huge screen. She was blinded by the sun all day, and her face became a pale color. On the day when the test results came out, she accompanied Sin Bo to the Life Research Institute for the last treatment. 
when the person was completely covered by the instrument. Several assistants, who had repeatedly operated it countless times in the past year were very skilled in combing it themselves. Seeing that he was not needed for the time being, the person in charge took the family members aside and talked about the precautions. 97% should be his initial alienation rate. We have lowered it from more than 99% to this value. And it cannot be lowered any further. So he must be checked regularly for the increase in alienation rate. According to the natural rate of alienation. Combined with his data before freezing. After the alienation rate drops to 97%. The alienation cycle should be 2 to 3 years. But this data is not accurate. Anyway. Pay more attention to observe him. Once he becomes weak. Send him here immediately. Shall Sifan listen carefully? Nodded. And asked. Does he still feel pain before entering the alienation period? The person in charge was silent for a moment. And said helplessly. Yes. We really can't do anything about this. It is definitely painful for normal cells to be devoured by malignant cells on a large scale. But it is a little less painful in the early stage. Xiao Sifang asked again, if he uses his alienation ability. Will it accelerate the alienation rate? The person in charge, it will definitely happen. If you can avoid it, don't use it. Vice Deanson himself probably doesn't care. You just keep an eye on him. Okay. Is there anything I should pay attention to in daily life? Such as whether his mood swings can be too drastic? It doesn't have much impact. Vice Deanson himself has always been very stable. And it is difficult for anything to stimulate him. Don't worry too much. Xiao Sifang nodded and took a bunch of notes. After putting them in the memo, he looked up and found that the person in charge suddenly looked at him with an expression that seemed to want to say something but hesitated. So he looked at him in confusion. The latter hesitated for a while and whispered, Please help us persuade Vice Dean Cien. I was originally a researcher under his guidance. His academic level is really very high. It is really a pity that he left the School of Life Sciences. It doesn't matter if he comes every two or three days. Anyway, he only came every three or five before. And it didn't affect anything. The expression on his face was very regretful and a little bitter. Although many people on the internet now say that his face is the main reason why he can be so respected. But those words are completely wrong. He is good looking. And perhaps a large number of young people really praise him because of his good looks. But do we, who are in our 60s, 70s, or even hundreds of years old, also admire him because of his looks? Everyone respects him. And no one opposes him. Because he is really a legend. Even though he has been gone for more than 10 years. There is still no one better than him in the field of alienation repair. He spread his hands and sighed. There is no way. If a person stands so high, people will not be jealous. I accidentally said too much. But I still hope you can consider it and persuade him well. After speaking, he walked back to the treatment room with heavy steps and closed the door gently. Xiao Sifang sat on the bench at the door. With the back of her head against the wall. Her mind churning with thoughts. If it was someone else. If she was just persuaded, she would do it without thinking. But Sin Bo was different. She couldn't persuade a person who had to endure pain all the time to do things that benefited mankind. At the same time, a new entry on the internet was climbing steadily. Gu Wen. So it's true that someone saw Xiao Sifang's name on the exam list more than a month ago. I feel sorry for that little cutie. She was scolded for spreading rumors and scolded so badly at that time, kneeling down. And in you. Me. And him. Is the world of the great people so arbitrary? She got the first place in the manufacturing department and abandoned it and went directly to the front line. She disappeared for many years and suddenly retired and got the first place in the cleaning bureau. I'm numb. Who can tell me what she wants to do? Sparasi. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I admit that the cleanup bureau is also a crucial department. The experts in the cleanup bureau are all big names in the scientific research community. But the cleaners under the cleanup bureau are just ordinary positions. What is she going to do with such an ordinary cleaner? With such ability? Can you do something more powerful for me? Superpower by, uh, don't talk too early. Maybe people can also make big things in ordinary frontline, eating melon. Die too ran. Look forward to the future. Things will definitely not be so simple. Fangirl number one. Woo woo woo. Can I say that she is my idol in my light? It's not easy to see her. I secretly confess my feelings. And wish you a better future, love you. Focus deviation. Well, 
No one noticed that the skirt she was wearing was very similar to the skirt corner secretly photographed from the Saint Father's Manor, Dingwigaitao.jpg. Fuck, she must have had some ideas. How could someone with such a clear goal end her life so hastily, as some people think? Jewish Wazy, wow 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 sisters are awesome. I just checked and found that this photo of her was taken on the day of the exam for the cleanup bureau. The same day, as the secretly photographed photo of the manor. At focus deviation. Nahan, this is very confusing ah, ah I screamed. Sinjandong, it's a coincidence. The secretly photographed only one corner. It's not certain that it's the same skirt. Focus off, damn. I just compared the little bit of heel exposed in the candid photo with the photo taken on the day of Xiao Sifang's exam. And they are also very, very similar. Is my eyes broken, grievance? Ruffer, stop pretending to be dead. You have to smile and reveal the information you revealed even if you are cut off from the friendship at Little Prince of Top Hat. When the treatment was over, Xiao Sifang, who had too many things in his mind, was still in a daze and didn't notice that Sin Bo had come out. The body that had just come out of the cryogenic blocking device was as cold as ice. And just like this, a hand silently pressed against the warm neck. And Xiao Sifan was so cold that he flipped sideways from the chair to the other wall. And subconsciously took a fighting posture. What are you thinking about? Looking at his obviously abnormal pale face. Xiao Sifan stopped and shook his head. I'll tell you about this later. I need to think about it. Go back first. Sin Bo raised his eyebrows and said nothing. Xiao Sifang put a big hat that he had prepared long ago on his head. And after walking out of the hospital gate, he showed him his newly bought two-person aircraft. It's a two-seater with a very low-key appearance. It doesn't have the big wings with upper and lower doors that are popular on the market. It's round like a ball. And the color is extremely low-key black and gray. The space button specially installed for this aircraft costs 3 million, which has spent all my dividends for a year. The second-hand platform of the fat and thin bosses is running well. The two of them are old and can make some money. So they stop struggling. They are stable as small bosses, guarding the annual net profit of 20 million, and living a colorful life. Sin Bo looked at the aircraft for a while and commented, It looks like your eyeballs. The 3 million is worth it. Xiao Sifang, whose aesthetics were ridiculed, tried his best to defend himself. This model is small and flexible, and the braking system uses the most stable V2 RT6 brake ring and the brake pads use the new metal number 221, which has little wear and good quality. And the brake feel is super comfortable. What's even better is its accelerator. Perfect anti-overheating design. And the number 8 plastic core is a perfect match here. Really? Yes. So there are no other styles to choose from for this match made in heaven. That's true. Sinbo smiled. Opened the equally round door and sat in. Xiao Sifang dejectedly got into the driver's seat and turned on the navigation to enter the airway. By the way, the manor has been targeted. Xiao Qiao has recruited 10 more people to patrol around the corners. But it still can't completely stop these people from peeping and taking pictures. So we won't go in through the main gate when the time comes. Why not go in through the main gate? Sin Bo was lazy and didn't care at all. Why should I hide when I go back to my own manor? Or are you afraid that your eyes will be photographed? What he said made sense. Indeed, neither of them was shameful. Especially since the aircraft she chose was niche in appearance, but well received. It was completely justified to appear. After thinking it through, Xiao Sifang went forward courageously. When she approached the gate, she suddenly thought of something else. Looking at the huge manor, she asked, Did you buy this manor? How much did it cost? Sin Bo thought for a while and shook his head. I'm really not sure about this. Xiao Sifang was puzzled. Didn't you buy it yourself? Um, was it given by the emperor? Sin Bo turned his head to look at her and called her name, Sifong. Xiao Sifong replied in confusion, Yes. How can such a good thing happen in the world? Why do you have such an unrealistic dream? He sighed. The house in the middle was indeed allocated by him. But the surrounding land was bought later. The reason why I don't know how much it cost is because this manor was not built in a day. And it is really difficult to calculate the specific price. But the approximate valuation leaving aside the rose garden. It should be around 5 billion. Xiao Sifang's feet trembled. And the accelerator that made her fall in love with it suddenly exerted force. The emergency upward steering wheel and the super comfortable brake made her eyes spin for a century and rushed into the door. Then, what if we had the rose garden? The value of the rose garden is inestimable for the time being. 
Many varieties that are not available on the market are cultivated here. The price it can be sold for depends on the competition among various companies. The aircraft stopped in front of the main house and was captured crazily by the high power and ultra clear cameras ambushed in the distance. Xiao Sifang unbuckled his seat belt and looked at the person who was understated and asked seriously, Do you think I can make five billion in my life? Sun Bo leaned over and gave her a kiss at the corner of her lips. Xiao Sifang blushed, but still looked at him firmly. Sun Bo did not let her down, or he would never let her down, showing a gentle smile full of infinite possibilities. It depends on the capital, time and energy you have. First accumulate your capital, and then give it a try. That's very possible. Xiao Sifang got off the aircraft happily and decided to immediately formulate a plan parallel to the search for beneficial catastrophic materials. Looking at her energetic figure, Sun Buqing couldn't help but curl up the corners of his mouth. Happiness is really a simple thing. As an absolute action man, Xiao Sifang sat down and sorted out her thoughts a little, then contacted the fat boss to ask about his secret of starting from scratch, and also contacted her few friends to inquire about the current situation. During this time, Sun Bo took a bath, drank tea, and cut a bunch of roses by hand, and finally waited until she hung up the call thoughtfully, as if the pause button was pressed. Why don't you ask me? The gorgeous red roses were played between his fingers, and the shiny scissors were pruning the branches, and then inserted into the vase half filled with water at the angle that best promoted the harmony of the picture. The initial capital is too different. I started from scratch, and your experience is not a reference. Xiao Sifang was very clear-headed, and then he took out a rose that had not been taken care of and played with it in his hands, saying sadly, Bamian is now richer than me, and his project has a lot of commission but I have already raised the startup funds. Bamian and Lu Yi are willing to invest. When I find a suitable project, I can get everyone together for a meeting. Lin Lang and Chifeng are currently taking care of their children and can come to help. Ida and Nara said they don't like the work in the development department of the machinery factory and are willing to do my logistics. She counted them one by one on her fingers, causing Xiao Xiao, who was not far away teaching the new maid how to wax the floor, to look up from time to time. In just a moment, all the financial staff were ready. Oh, that's right. Xiao Sifang remembered as he spoke and touched the pedals and said, after getting the qualification certificate of the cleaning bureau, I have to go home to see my uncle and aunt. And then I have to meet my grandfather before I officially start work. Sin Bo inserted the newly trimmed rose into the vase, letting it show a beautiful layered sense of staggered appearance and looked up. What about me? Didn't we agree that where I am, you are there. Xiao Sifang. Then you come with me. Oh! Sun Bo responded, took out the only white rose bud in the bouquet, and handed it to her. Then you should say, We have to go home to see uncle and aunt. Xiao Sifang's face turned red again. She didn't have direct representation and decision making power yet. Blushing, she took the rose and looked at the bud that had only opened a little. She forced to change the subject. This is still a bud. You cut it too early. Not early. Sin Bo stood up, held her hand, and raised the white rose in front of her eyes, and gently touched the bud with his other hand. The layers of petals opened gracefully, and each petal was extremely full and white like a handful of snow. I'll open it when I see you. The maid and Xiao Xiao who were secretly watching from a distance blushed, and the latter even cursed in her heart. Fuck. It's really fucking terrible. After a moment of amazement, Xiao Sifang pursed his lips and grabbed his wrist. The face was as unkind as the goddess of judgment in front of the judgment bureau building. No, you can't use this. I'll send you the precautions I listed before. This is absolutely forbidden. The maid, Xiao Qiao, this person is really terrible. Sin Bo was stunned, took the initiative to take her hand into his palm, and pulled the serious looking man to sit side by side. Sorry, I scared you. I'll be careful next time. This time he really didn't think it through and didn't notice that this special ability was also a kind of shadow for the little girl, seeing that his attitude was quite sincere. Xiao Sifang's expression eased a little, but when he thought of what the man from the hospital said, he emphasized again with concern, you have to keep your promise too. Okay. Sin Bo agreed. Xiao Sifang suddenly felt uncomfortable with such obedience, moved his butt, looked at the white rose in his hand, and stole a glance at the expressions of the people around him. He smiled indifferently, and it was hard to tell whether he was happy or unhappy. 
she looked at the rose in her hand again and made up her mind. Raising the rose in her hand, she tried her best to express to him another emotion besides nervousness and fear at that moment. Although I don't agree with your behavior just now, this flower is really beautiful. I like it very, very, very much. She used three especially and finally made people laugh. So cute. Sinbo embraced her with both hands and rested his chin on her shoulder with a smile. Okay, then I forgive you. Xiao Sifang. This special rose was finally placed in a transparent container by her, filled with colorless gel, and preserved forever after slightly heating and solidifying. X338 Semi-Ruined Planet. And Yang grabbed a handful of compressed nutrient mud from Aunt Xiao, threw a piece into her mouth and chewed it, raising her chubby face full of blessings. It's rare to see you take a day off. Are you tired? If my big fat boy had the ability of you eight-sided, I would have stopped working and stayed at home watching TV every day. Your son is so promising. Why are you still working so hard? And Yang really didn't understand. Why can't you enjoy a good life? And Xiao smiled and said, The child's father went to work in construction. And I'm idle at home alone. It's good to go to the factory to have a look. Just like finding a companion. Today, I am not resting because I am tired. Si Fong is coming back. I haven't been back for so many years although I can see him by video every now and then. He is not real after all. It is a rare trip back. So I have to spend some time with him. Ah, Si Fong is coming back. And Yang suddenly felt that the compressed dried food in her hand was not fragrant anymore. How long will he stay? Three to five days. They are all busy. The siblings are the same. I don't expect them to be like your Depang, who is filial every day. And Yang waved her hand with a face full of blame. My Depang is not as capable as your two. So he can only be filial. Think about it. However, you have to put the marriage of the two children on the agenda as soon as possible. And let them give birth to a child for you as soon as possible. So you can also have a wish. As elders, do we really want the younger generation to be able to do great things? Isn't it just to have a happy family reunion? If you can't even make your parents happy, then no matter how great you are, it's nothing. Don't you think? And Zhao's eyebrows jumped. And she endured it. It's hard to make a friend. And have a child? I think the two of them are ready to move closer to second-class residents and have children in their 50s or 60s. And Yang's expression twisted for a moment. And she said sourly, Oh, you are still lucky. You supplied oxygen to all directions when you were young. So it doesn't matter if you want it later. But it's still early for them. But it's not early for you and Dadu. You are both over 50. Even if you get some oxygen later, you will be at most a hundred years old. Don't you want to live to see your grandchildren? And Zhao's face was also distorted. It was obvious that he was cursing her. After An Yan said it, she felt that it was too obvious. So she quickly smiled and changed the subject. These are all things that need to be put on the agenda. Taking advantage of Sifong's return in the next two days, we can arrange for the few people we had our eyes on to meet? That's not necessary. An Xiao prepared for a long time and finally found a chance to spit it out. Si Fong came back with a friend. This child? He didn't tell me earlier that he had someone. Which made me anxious for nothing. Looking at the colorful faces of the old neighbors. An Xiao's anger disappeared. Usually, she had suffered a lot from this person showing off his daughter-in-law and son-in-law. Showing off his grandchildren. And openly and secretly mocking her two children for being good at doing things, but not being good people and being single in the future. Ha uh ha. -huh. I'm really sorry. As long as her Sifong Bamian wants to find someone. It won't take a minute. And Xiao was so proud that she took her words and turned away with her bag of compressed nutrient mud. And Yang watched her back as she left leisurely and kicked the bench with one foot. But the kick was not good. Hitting her toe. And her face wrinkled in pain. Tears came out. She felt uncomfortable. Jealous. And a little aggrieved and limped home. Fat Yang was on the night shift today. He had nothing to do during the day, so he followed his old man to repair the machine. He looked up and saw his mother running in angrily, and asked in confusion, Mom, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? What's wrong? It's your old classmate Xiao Sifang who is back. I'm so angry. And Yang rushed up to the second floor of the newly built small building, took her sleeping grandson out of the cradle and kissed him. And then she felt relieved. Humph! Isn't it just a friend? Can he be more precious than her grandson? Downstairs, Fat Yang put down the wrench in his hand and said to himself, 
Si Fong is back? Then I have to call Mr. Huang. Uncle Yang asked casually, Your classmate is back. Why did you call your boss? My boss asked me to. I guess he is a fan of Si Fong. Oh, their old Xiao family is really promising. Who said it wasn't? Bamian. That little softie is so promising compared with him. Who is the softie? I. I am. I am a wimp. I am useless. Yang Depeng cried and slandered himself. Why he is already 30 years old, but still can't escape the fate of being compared with other people's children. With the improvement of living standards and power, the outer city also divided air routes two years ago. The launch of public aircraft has deepened the connection between more than 200 districts and facilitated various business exchanges. Xiao Sifang downloaded the route map at the port of call and flew Sin Bo home with his eyes. As he moved forward, he also explained to Sin Bo, who met the outer city for the first time after the postgraduate school. The bags below are sand shields, made of a material that was launched only three years ago. It is cheap and very practical. The synthesizer of this material is also a refugee. Looking around, among the yellowish sand, transparent bulges covered many households, large and small, quite spectacular. After the sand cover came out, the refugees built transparent sand covers to block the sand. Now they can go out during the windy season and walk leisurely in their own sand cover. Children can also have fun instead of staying in the house. Sinbo leaned on his arm and looked down. Saying something irrelevant, there are more colors. Xiao Sifang glanced and said, we didn't have the power to choose before. And those factories made one color to save trouble. It's different now. Everyone has their own ideas. Even the simple houses have different combinations. So there are more colors. The port of call is very close to District 18. It didn't take long for her to find the huge mansion that was demolished and rebuilt on the spot by the wealthy Bamian. She followed the navigation exit and flew close to the ground. The sand shield seemed densely packed in the sky and the intervals became larger after it fell. Xiao Sifang found the entrance to the sand shield unimpeded. The identifier at the entrance scanned the size of the aircraft and selectively opened a small door for her to pass through. As soon as her eyes entered the sand shield, she was surrounded by neighbors. After all, it has only been a few years since liberation. Most of the refugees can buy a traditional car, which is considered fast development. Only a handful of them can use private aircraft. In order to reduce unnecessary trouble, Xiao Sifang still put a hat on Sin Bo. As soon as the two got off the aircraft, Bamian, who had returned earlier, ran out, shouting, Let me see which brother is so short-sighted that he likes our Sifang. His absolute talent and irreplaceability made him not suffer any beatings after entering the society. He still maintained the simplicity and straightforwardness of his student days when he was nearly 30 years old. Still like a child. Brother don't mind. We will be family in the future. Let me see. When this 30-year-old child suddenly approached the face of the short-sighted brother and saw his face clearly, his life suffered a waterloo. He was speechless. He covered his mouth reflexively. He wanted to turn back time so that he could start his life over again. Sinbo lifted the brim of his hat and smiled. Hmm? Yes. I'm sorry. Xiao Bamian wanted to cry but had no tears. He didn't know where to put his hands and feet. I didn't mean it. He cut Xiao Sifang into pieces in his heart and wanted to bury him alive. Couldn't he tell him in advance that the person he brought back was a father? It doesn't matter. Sun Bo acted very gently. We are all family. Xiao Bamian. Heaven has no eyes. How can Xiao Sifang be so worthy? He was dazed and didn't know how to respond. After a few awkward laughs, he moved to Xiao Sifang's side quietly and poked her with his elbow. The sound squeezed out of his throat. Do you know why I am the only one who came out? Because my parents are waiting for my nephew's husband to come and pick up Xiao. This thing has gone wrong. Xiao Sifang didn't feel anything and replied, Uncle and aunt can't recognize him. It's okay. Don't worry. Xiao Bamian choked and nodded with difficulty. That's true. So he was the only one hurt in this accident. Turning to the left of the entrance is the living room. Xiao Dadu and his wife who had been waiting on the sofa early, sat upright and seemed to be watching TV. But their real thoughts had already flown to the door to welcome guests. Xiao Dadu was very nervous. Is it really okay for us not to go out? Will it give people a bad impression? And Xiao glared at him and said, It's just a test. If he comes in politely and with a good attitude, we will treat him well immediately. 
What impact will it have? If he turns his face away as soon as he comes in, then it's better not to go. Yes. Yes. That makes sense. Xiao Dadu straightened his newly bought shirt and pinched his shaking thigh. Just when he was feeling anxious, Xiao Sifang's voice finally rang out. Uncle and aunt. I'm back. The two people on the sofa turned their heads at the same time. Sin Bo took off his hat and politely called out, Hello. Uncle and aunt. Xiao Sifang and Xiao Bamian were both shocked. The former quickly pulled a person and whispered, You don't have to call them that. They are younger than you. Sin Bo was choked for a rare moment. After several seconds, he stopped smiling and looked at her expressionlessly. What should I call you then? Xiao Sifang. Yes. How else can I call her? The century-old question. She couldn't answer it. A rough laugh came out of Xiao Dadu's mouth. He didn't hear what Xiao Sifang said and thought his niece was shy. So he couldn't help laughing. In the eyes of Aunt Xiao, the young man's attitude seemed to have passed the test. So she didn't stop her husband from greeting people. After Xiao Dadu finished laughing, he said cheerfully, Just call uncle and aunt. That's right. He he. Xiao Bamian covered his face miserably. He he. Ignorance is really bliss. Xiao Sifang was also numb all over. And he smiled back with a stiff face. And continued to whisper to Sin Bo. And asked worriedly, You really don't feel embarrassed? Sin Bo's expression was flawless. He smiled at Xiao Dadu and calmly asked, Aren't you and your brother the only ones who are embarrassed? As long as I'm not embarrassed, it's others who are embarrassed. Xiao Bamian was enlightened and finally understood the true meaning of this sentence. Oh my god! He is worthy of being Sin's father. Handsome. Learn from him. And Xiao politely asked Sin Bo to sit down. Turned around and went to the kitchen to bring out the fresh fruits. Melon seeds. Peanuts. Milk candies and food that she had bought at a huge cost. And placed them on the coffee table. There is nothing good at home. I hope you don't mind. Sin Bo was very gracious and took an orange. I like to eat fruit very much. Thank you for your hospitality. As long as you like her. As long as you like her. Xiao Dadu smiled. His innocent nature exposed. I feel familiar with you as soon as I see you. Maybe we have met somewhere before. And Xiao gave him a slap in the face. Cleared her throat and coughed. And her eyes scanned him up and down like searchlights. What the old lady said before her death was right. Sifan liked good looking people. And the one he found was indeed good looking. So good looking that he was a little too attractive. But she was not a person who judged people by appearance. As long as the person had good character. It was acceptable for him to have an attractive appearance. But how come this young man was not restrained at all? And his attitude seemed more comfortable than the two of them. Could it be that he was a little too experienced? This alerted her. She looked at the man's hands peeling the orange slowly and said tactfully, This is our first time dating. We didn't do anything childish. Did we? How could Sin Bo, who was good at perceiving people's hearts, not know what she wanted to say? He said, It's my first time too. We tolerate each other. And Xiao felt relieved and nodded immediately. That's right. Dating means mutual understanding. I think you should be older than our Sifang. How old are you this year? This is a revolutionary question. The answer will definitely be revolutionary. Xiao Bamian stood up for his idol, carefully patted his mother's shoulder, and interrupted, Why ask about his age? He is not a refugee. And Xiao's eyes swept over Sun Bo's identity ring. And her heart skipped a beat. Yes, it's better not to ask this. If she asks, it will be embarrassing if she finds out that he is not much younger than her. So she smiled and passed it over. How many people are there in your family? What do you do? Xiao Sifang breathed a sigh of relief. Sin Bo glanced at her, then looked at Aunt Xiao, and smiled and answered one by one, there are four people, parents and brothers and sisters. But I was given away for adoption when I was young. And now I live alone. I used to work at the Life Research Institute. But now I have quit and have no job for the time being. The first half of the sentence made and shall feel pity for a while. But the second half made her worried, no job. No job is not okay. Xiao Sifang, who had a target of 5 billion, could not sit still any longer. And hurriedly said, it's okay. He has savings. It's okay to take a break for a while. And Xiao glared at her with a look of disappointment. Xiao Bamian could not sit still any longer. And followed up, Mom, if you miss this opportunity, you will miss it again. Do you know how lucky Sifang was to find such a, a partner? 
Xiao Dada finally found a chance to interrupt. And while his wife was still glaring at him, he said, nephew-in-law, do you know our Bamian too? Sin Bo was about to answer when the doorbell suddenly rang. And Xiao frowned, muttering about who had come to the door today, and motioned Bamian to open the door. Xiao Bamian was also confused. Although they had a good relationship with their neighbors and would visit from time to time, the neighbors would definitely not choose this time to disturb them. His in-laws rarely visited him, and they would not come without saying hello at this time of the year. Who could it be? When he opened the door, it was indeed a stranger. This stranger had a medium appearance and a medium build. He wore a black suit with a red tie, a pair of leather shoes that were polished to a shine, and held a bunch of gifts in his hands. Behind him was an exaggerated aircraft. Cool purple. And it was worth a lot of money. Who are you? The man smiled happily and said, My surname is Huang. And I'm here to look for Sifong. Oh! Looking for Sifong. Xiao Bamian subconsciously turned his body to the side. And the man surnamed Huang walked past him naturally and laughed heartily. Xiao Bamian? He hurriedly turned his head to chase him. But he had already walked to the living room quickly smiling at Xiao Sifang and enthusiastically placing his gifts on the already full coffee table. Xiao Sifang, who had covered Sin Bo with her hat in time, had not yet breathed a sigh of relief. When this stranger who suddenly appeared said something shocking, which made her heart, which had been tempered in the battlefield for many years, a little overwhelmed. This is uncle and aunt. Hello. Hello. My name is Huang Chong. And I am here to propose marriage. Xiao Dadu was already confused. But Aunt Xiao, as the head of the family, was relatively calm and asked, Who are you asking for marriage on behalf of? Myself? He laughed again. I know it's a bit presumptuous of me to come here without saying hello. But I'm also anxious. I'm afraid Sifong will leave as soon as he arrives and I won't be able to catch up. Xiao Sifong swore that she had never been so speechless in her life. So speechless that she couldn't say a word. The three members of Xiao Dadu's family also had shocked faces as if they were struck by lightning. The only person who could answer the question in the whole living room was Sin Bo. Sifong doesn't seem to know you. What marriage are you asking for? His tone was neither fast nor slow, and he didn't seem angry, as if he was just asking this question out of curiosity. Wang Chong scanned the Xiao family. His eyes fell on the man whose face he could only see half, and frowned. When he learned from the grapevine that Xiao Sifong was the granddaughter of the former director of the supervisory bureau, he made up his mind to marry her. Could it be that someone else had the same idea as him? No. This person is not a refugee. That is. Oh. I see. Xiao Sifang has a cousin who dotes on her. And it must be this person. After he figured it out, he put on his cheerful face again and said, This must be my cousin. Hello. Cousin. It's a bit abrupt for me to come here rashly. But my heart is sincere. And I swear to treat Sifang well for the rest of my life. Xiao Sifang resisted the nausea and said with difficulty, I have nothing to do with you. I don't need you to be nice to me. Hey, Sifang, let me finish talking to my cousin first. You listen to me. We are related. Right? I have decided on you. Wang Chang interrupted Xiao Sifang domineeringly, not realizing how difficult it was for the Xiao family to describe now, and continued to smile at his cousin. Cousin, you can first understand my personal situation. I am 36 years old this year. Although my appearance is not outstanding. I am also a good-looking person. Of course. These are all external. People with a solid foundation, like you will definitely not care about this. Wang Chan talked freely. His face was flushed. I dare to come to propose marriage. Mainly because my personal ability is not bad. And I have barely earned a few hundred million in assets. Of course. This money will definitely be more and more. I promise that within five years, Half of the 338 industry will belong to me. And I will definitely let Sifan live a life that everyone envies. The four members of the Xiao family. Really? A gentleman's word is as good as his bond. Wang Chang patted his chest. What a pity. I don't agree. Sin Bo stood up. Ah. Why? Is there something wrong with me? Yes. Why? What's wrong? Xiao Banian's habit of being embarrassed for others came back again. He was really angry and funny, and wanted to press him into the toilet to make him think clearly about who he was talking to. Sin Bo took a step to the left, pulled Xiao Sifang, who was so angry that she wanted to curse, over, slowly opened her clenched fist, 
put his hand on it, and clasped his fingers. Wang Chan felt something was wrong. Feeling his cool body temperature, Xiao Sifang suddenly felt relieved. There was no need to be angry with a clown. She looked at the man who had come out of nowhere and solemnly introduced the people around him to him. He is not my cousin. She considered the words and felt that whether it was boyfriend or lover, it was a little inappropriate. She didn't know whether love covered a wide range of things, including the worship of the strong and the admiration of the elders. And she didn't know whether the proportion of her complex emotions could define Sin Bo as a lover. But there was no doubt that even if she put aside the deal and promise of the year, she was very much looking forward to the future with this man. He is the other half I want to spend the rest of my life with. Ai Chao. Xiao Bamian was jealous. Wang Chong was also dumbfounded. And after being dumbfounded, he was furious like a storm. Are you kidding me? Sin Bo was in a very good mood after hearing the confession. He gently rubbed his other half's skin with his thumb and looked at the man head on. You were talking to yourself from beginning to end. I just didn't interfere. If you don't believe me, you can recall it yourself. You? Wang Chan looked at the man who was half a head taller than him. And then looked at that handsome face. He thought of something. Sneered contemptuously. Turned to Xiao Sifang and said, Have you really thought about it? Do you want to spend your whole life with such a pretty boy? What else does he have besides a skin? I advise you to think about it again. Appearances are fleeting. Only money is real. Wang Chan regained his confidence and relaxed his expression. He said earnestly, Sifang, don't be fooled by this kind of pretty boy. It's not worth it to be cheated of money and sex. You can never wake up a person who pretends to be asleep. But a loud slap can. Sin Bo smiled. His tone still warm. I have always thought that it is not decent to mention family property at every turn. But if you can only see this in your life, then I can only cooperate with you reluctantly. What industry are you in? Wang Chong straightened his chest. My main business is metal smelting. I made it into the largest smelting base in 338 in just nine years. Where did you get the ores from? Y0401. Y4012. Y1120. These major metal planets are closely related to me. And you know the rare metal number zero. The metal material used to make key parts of high-end mechas. Which is currently only found on the planet Y0088. And we also make it here. Just right. Sinbo said lightly. Half of the mines on the Y1120 ruins planet are mine. As for the asteroid Y0088. It was my private planet 20 years ago. No. 30 years ago. When the number zero metal was not discovered. Wang Chan laughed. Don't be afraid of bragging yourself to death. Outsiders don't know. But we in the industry know it clearly. Half of the mines on Y1120 clearly belong to Grand Marshal Austin. Yes. The remaining half is mine. Wang Chong paused for a moment. This half and half. There is a point. But it doesn't matter. There is still Y0088. Okay. I don't know about this and can't refute it. But? He raised his chin proudly. Took two steps forward. And pointed his finger at the eyes of the pretty boy. Y0088 is a planet. Really. Even if you are not in the industry. Many ordinary people know about it. It was in 3821 when Sin Bo just became the vice president of the Life Research Institute with his restoration and alienation achievements that shocked the entire new human race. The emperor at that time convened a congress and specially awarded him the Star of Hope. You said it's yours. Ha ha ha. It's so funny. You think you are Sin. The voice stopped abruptly. The face under the hat became clearer and clearer until it completely overlapped with the face that stood tall in his memory. Wang Chong's outstretched fingers began to tremble and disbelief and panic rushed onto his gradually pale face. The next second, he retracted his fingers as if he had been electrocuted, and his merchant instinct made him bend down and bow 90 degrees. Yes. Sorry. Please don't treat me like that. I really didn't mean to offend. All his confidence was destroyed, and all his pride became a joke. So he couldn't continue. He turned around, picked up the gifts he brought, and crawled out of the door. Ha ha ha. So cool. Shao Bamian danced with joy. Dad is handsome. Dad is awesome. Dad is the best in the world. After shouting at the top of his lungs, Shao Bamian froze in front of his parents' shocked and complicated eyes. Oh. No. My real father is here. He tried to wink at Shao Sifan to smooth things over. But she was busy using her remaining hand that could still move. And didn't notice the awkwardness of the situation at all. After Xiao Sifang found that he couldn't estimate the value of the mine, 
He looked up and asked directly, Is it about time for me to change the target to 50 billion? Sinbo played with her other hand and said casually, I'm not sure. I have a lot of real estate like this. And some of the property rights are about to expire. The Alliance has not changed the existing system regulations of the Resources Bureau. So they can be renewed. Come with me to take a look at it then. Xiao Sifang. Forget it. People's goals cannot be too ambitious. If they are too ambitious, they will easily lose confidence. She should start with 5 billion. Bang. And Xiao slapped the sofa. Attracting everyone's attention. She showed the expression she had before hitting someone with a broom in the early years. With disgust and anger intertwined. Hate and power coexisting. Sure enough. You grow up and your wings become hard. Explain everything to me clearly. As for this Misterson. And Xiao was not stage frightened. Although Dadu and I are not well educated and don't know much about the upper class. We still know who Tsin Bo is. Before I finish educating my children. Please don't interfere. Okay. Tsin Bo. Okay. After getting the promise. And Xiao glanced and saw the plastic broom with fine bristles in the corner. And quickly walked over to pick it up. No. Mom. I'm almost 30 years old. Xiao Bamian swallowed his saliva and retreated. But he didn't dare to retreat too fast. He could only watch his mother, who was obviously very thin, approaching like a mountain. When the broom landed on his buttocks, Xiao Bamian cried. Let him be beaten. Anyway, he was used to being beaten for Sifong. But why did he have to be beaten in front of Sin's father? He didn't want to live anymore. In the age of universal internet access, any news has the potential to be spread and amplified. One person spreads to a hundred. A hundred spreads to ten thousand. And one click sends. And the masses are excited. The apology letter from an ordinary resident who did not want to reveal his name to Sin Bo and Xiao Sifang was on the headlines for a whole week before it was removed. But even after it was removed, the popularity was still there. Whenever someone brought up this topic, thousands or tens of thousands of comments would be discussed. Chifu, sorry. I just came back from closed training. It has been three hours since I learned about this from my parents. I am still confused. Can anyone tell me how these two hooked up? Miners under the age of 20 are politely declined to answer Bao. Countless enthusiastic netizens arrived instantly and began to express their opinions. Some of them were porters of the hot comments on the headlines a month ago. They were crazy about the output of large-scale videos. Xiao and I like Xiao Sa. Someone sorted out the timeline and speculated that their affair was likely to have started 13 years ago when Father Tsun suddenly decided to stay temporarily on the semi-ruined planet X338 for a year. Now everyone is suspecting that Father Tsun made this decision because of Xiao Sifang. But everyone can't find any intersection between the two before. So it's not a solid evidence. Xiao and I like Xiao Sa. The most important thing is that Father Tsun stayed in 338 that year. I don't know if it was a coincidence. He was the special teacher of the class where Xiao Sifang was. This was indeed a good opportunity for close contact. But, except for the granddaughter of the owner of 338, everyone in that class was dug up. And some people went to interview them on the spot. They all said that they didn't see the two of them having any special exchanges at all. So they asked if the confidentiality work was absolutely impossible? Xiao and I like Xiao Sa in the end. According to the revelation of an anonymous netizen, she was interviewed by Tsun's father alone because of something everyone knows. So I won't name her to ruin her life. At that time, it was Xiao Sifang who was watching over Tsun's father. The relationship between the two seemed very good at the time. But she didn't feel any ambiguity at that time, saying that they were just ordinary friends. So the preliminary judgment is that it is not love at first sight. The kind of love that starts with lust. And it is reasonable to suspect that it will grow over time. Yi Far replied to Xiao and I like Xiao Sa, Oh my god. So how did they know each other? Xiao and I like Xiao Sa replied to Yi Fart, Not sure. But someone who claims to be Xiao Sifang's friend also broke some information. Which makes it difficult to sort out the nodes, and is just simple and sweet. You can search for keywords since Bo is not consistent. Xiao Sifang is drunk. This kind of thing made me feel numb when I saw it. Wan Huanergi, thank you for the late news. I have a place to cry again. Hang, Xiao Sifang is a real winner in life. He has both career and men cracked. It's to Pyongyang, career? Didn't you see that she disappeared after reaching the peak of her life in recent years? She is so happy that she forgot her name after hooking up with a man of Sin Bo's level. Smile, smile, smile. Hu Hu Some people should not take the opportunity to be sarcastic. 
to be honest. Is there anything that Xiao Sifang doesn't deserve Sin Bo? I don't discriminate against the victims of genetic experiments. I just talk about the facts. It's really tiring to get along with a person who has both mental and physical trauma. From Xiao Sifang's friend. We can know that Sin Bo is very willful in private. And sometimes he is so cold that it's outrageous. I'm afraid only someone with extremely strong mental will like Xiao Sifang can tolerate it. I am the most handsome. Since you insist on saying that the Holy Father has flaws in his personality due to his unfortunate experience, then I will ask you a question. If I give you a chance to date him, would you be willing? Just go for it. The principle is here, although. Is Xiao Sifang worthy of Sinbo now? Don't talk about the past. There is an old saying that heroes don't talk about their past achievements. He Chi, M. Xiao Sifang is not worthy of Sinbo in any aspect. In addition, it is well known that when a person has no advantages to talk about, people will say that he has a good personality and is tolerant, spreading hands. Fisting town Guanxi, oh my god. Is this the end of Sin Bo's girlfriend fans? King of kings, bullying Xiao Sifang for having few fans? I think Sin Bo is too young to be a fan. Ugh. Chifu, why are you guys arguing? I think this couple is a good match, laughing and crying. Why 6218 ruin star? as the glacier star with the best preserved buildings in the entire interstellar space. It has always been on the red development list of the cleanup bureau. It is just that the low temperature and the remote geographical location always make it out of the priority queue under the limited manpower. So it has been delayed. Xiao Sifang changed seven work stars back and forth before he was assigned to Y6218 by the cleanup bureau who made up their minds. Their team is not large. With 12 cleaners, one cleaning expert, and a 10-man anti-aliens team accompanying them. Today is the ninth day since they came to this glacier planet. Everyone has gradually gotten used to the unnatural temperature and stuffiness of the cold-proof clothing. And the voices complaining about bad luck have finally disappeared. It is getting darker. And it is time to get off work. Everyone takes off the heavy work clothes and frees their heads from the protective helmets. Xiao Sifang greeted everyone and left the group as usual to find Sin Bo who is fascinated by ice sculptures. In the center of the huge valley, there are more than 10 giant ice blocks several meters high. Two of them have been carved into shape. One is the goddess Chris, and the other is an alien. Lifelike and vivid. This person's interests and enthusiasm are sometimes incomprehensible. And Xiao Sifang had no idea where he got these ice cubes from, or when he prepared these strange tools. Seeing that she had finished her work, Sin Bo pressed the portable aircraft, descended from a height of more than two meters, and landed beside her. I found two catastrophic substances today. But unfortunately, they are both harmful. Xiao Sifang reported his work to him and asked, Is it possible that harmful substances will counteract each other and get a positive result? Sin Bo put away the knife and asked, Have you read the book The Absurdity of Catastrophic Changes? Xiao Sifang, yes. But I haven't finished it. It's too absurd. I just suddenly thought that such a basic concept should be tested. Have you seen the results of the experiment? The School of Life Sciences did conduct similar experiments. How was it? All the instruments were destroyed. And the laboratory was razed to the ground. If everyone had not been prepared for protection, and not skimped on protective shields, you would have learned about a tragedy from various channels. It will be dark here soon. Let's go eat. Because Sinbo was pampered and didn't want to make do with nutrient mud. The meals for the two of them were cooked on the spot. And for this purpose, they specially found a place with a nice view and thin ice to facilitate water collection. Xiao Sifang took out a portable stove to boil water, then skinned the alien animal that Sin Bo had caught from somewhere. And after the water boiled, he carefully washed the tender red meat. Far away, on a 20 centimeter high ice platform, Sin Bo used his knife to round off the edges, took out an insulation mat and laid it on, then placed the table and chairs in order, and then laid a light blue tablecloth smoothing out every wrinkle. The pure white bionic flower was inserted into a vase and placed on the corner of the table. Everything was in order. Wow. Dear. You are great. The ice here is really thin. We will definitely be able to get water. The girl excitedly took her lover's arm and came up to praise him. The boy naturally didn't tell her that he came here to try his luck after seeing a little bit of heat. He happily accepted his girlfriend's compliments and pretended to be surprised and said, it seems that there is someone here. The girl was lively and outgoing. She was even happier when she saw two people. It's so lively with so many people. Let's call the others over. She did it right away. 
she immediately sent the location to the other two couples and told them to stop wandering and come here directly. After more than 10 years of development, with the improvement of the average living standard, the tourism economy of Y6218 has undoubtedly flourished. Now the most famous scenic spots have built new buildings. It is not an exaggeration to describe it as overcrowded. When there are too many people, restless tourists want to move around. This is also the main reason why the cleaning bureau sent people to clean up. You can't wait until a tourist really makes trouble before trying to make up for it. Sin Bo's seat was very far inside. The girl looked around and jumped to find Xiao Sifang, greeting him enthusiastically. Hello. My name is Chiochio. And the one behind is my boyfriend Daki. Can we get to know each other? Xiao Sifang was frying meat slices. Hearing this, he paused for a moment, looked up at the girl's bright smile, smiled back, and thought quickly in his heart. After weighing the pros and cons, she avoided the self-introduction part and skillfully shifted the focus of the topic. Hello. Are you two people out here alone? The girl was indeed taken over and answered the question with a smile. No. We are six good friends who came together. Three pairs. Have you all eaten yet? No. We are also planning to cook for ourselves. We just found a place with thinner ice so we can get water to wash the pots and so on. Well, let's do it quickly. There is a hole we have dug over there. You can get water directly from there. Chiochio was completely misled. After thanking her boyfriend, she jumped back to her boyfriend and remembered that she seemed to have missed something. She thought about it for a while, but couldn't remember it. Seeing that it was getting darker and darker, she didn't want to let it go. She quickly asked her boyfriend to take out the things and put them away, and turned on the lights in advance. It was freezing cold, and Xiao Sifang quickly fried two dishes and brought them over to eat. Sun Bo stopped drawing the ice sculpture design and picked up the towel that had just been on the corner of the table and handed it to her to wipe her hands. Tourists? Yes. Xiao Sifang turned on the heating pad under the plate and urged, Eat quickly. Eat quickly. And leave after eating. Sun Bo paused with his chopsticks and asked, Why do we have to eat and leave quickly? We were here first. Xiao Sifang held the bowl in one hand and used chopsticks to make a short gap with the other hand, saying, Speeding up and leaving will disrupt our usual rhythm and make us a little uncomfortable. But if we are discovered, if one of them is your extreme fan, we will have a very unpleasant night. She added, I know that there are very few extreme fans, so it's good to leave early and avoid risks 100%. What do you mean by extreme fans? Do I still have fans? Of course. You have a lot of them. That's really weird. Please don't say that. For some reason, Xiao Sifang felt that he was being implied. Sin Bo shook his head. Anyway, our lives have nothing to do with them. Why should we change our own plans because of their behavior? A person's life is his own. There is no need to give in to irrelevant people, which will disrupt his rhythm and make him unhappy. Just ignore it. In terms of reasoning, Xiao Sifang may not be able to beat him even after 20 years, because his reasoning can always be combined with his own examples and beautified with good intentions. After all, for him who is emotionally stable and as firm as a rock, the above sentence should be changed to ignore everything and do what he wants. Having said that, as a leader in willpower, Xiao Sifang lost because she considered more. If she was alone, she would have just introduced herself. The reason for avoiding is that she doesn't want her affected emotions to affect and bow again. Then I'll exercise. Xiao Sifang calmed down and relaxed his nerves. The food cooked by hand is so delicious. It is a pity not to enjoy it properly because of the hurry. As usual, the two spent about 15 minutes to finish the meal quietly and cleaned up the dishes and used kitchen utensils and moved them to the sink they dug specially. Sin Bo washed the dishes and pots meticulously. He washed one and Xiao Sifang wiped one dry and put it in the storage box. Among the three couples who were having a hot picnic, a girl named Xiao Tao noticed this scene and pushed Chiu Chiu. The atmosphere over there is good. It really feels like living a life. Chiu Chiu looked in the direction she pointed and smiled. I just greeted that girl. She is also very nice. She also let us get water directly from the hole they had dug. Ah. I was just saying it. Xiao Tao clasped his hands together. I was just wondering how you two, who are so unkempt, could make a hole that makes a person like me with obsessive compulsive disorder feel so comfortable. I was also wondering if you two bought some ice-breaking tools. Chiu Chiu was stunned for a moment and said, Comfortable? I didn't notice. I tell you, 
That brown one is super nice. Chio Chio laughed dryly and changed the subject. The skewers are already skewered. Why don't we let them in, grill them, and invite them to have some skewers with us? Xiao Tao nodded. Sure. The other quieter girl was a little hesitant. Wouldn't it be bad? Maybe they want to be alone? Then we shouldn't force them. Meeting is destiny. Chio Chio stood up and pulled the two of them forward. When they set out, Sun Bo and Xiao Sifang had just finished packing and were about to start their after-dinner entertainment. Originally, they were asked and answered immediately. But tonight Sun Bo didn't want to be a tutor again. He took out the Rubik's Cube that Xiao Sifang brought him last time but never played with. Let's play this. Who can restore it in the shortest time? The loser has to promise the winner something. Xiao Sifang blinked. No need to compete on this. I will promise you anything you want me to promise. Sun Bo smiled and whispered. Are you sure? It was the same smile as usual. But she seemed to see a hint of ill intention in it. At this moment, Xiao Sifang felt uncertain. Besides, don't you have any request that you don't usually ask? But you really want me to agree to? Yes, there is one. Xiao Sifang's momentum changed. And his desire to win was burning. Come on. Come back after you have served the guests. Sun Bo turned sideways and looked at the three girls, who were only ten meters away. Hi. Chio Chio waved her hands. Hello. Hello. I'm bothering you again. Sister, do you want to eat skewers with us? Let's chat. The dim sky made her squint her eyes to see the two new friends she was going to make. Her eyes moved from Xiao Sifang to Sin Bo, and she was shocked in an instant. Wow. Sister, your boyfriend is very handsome. As soon as she finished her compliment, Xiao Tao grabbed her arm and growled. What's so handsome about them? Look at who they are. Chio Chio looked at them again in confusion, and a flash of lightning lit up everything in her mind. Oh my god. The three girls stood side by side, and they were shocked and stunned for a while. Xiao Sifang was about to speak to ease the atmosphere, but Sun Bo stroked her wrist and signaled her not to speak, and let him speak. Thank you. We have already had dinner, and now we have our own activities, so it is not convenient for us to participate. The three people who were affixed with the spell said in unison, and Chio Chio's enthusiasm and cheerfulness just now were gone. She pushed Xiao Tao back and forth, trying to get the other to say something. Finally, it was the quiet girl who stepped forward, her lips trembling slightly, her face flushed with excitement. See, si, Sifang, I am your fan. I like you very much. I used to have a very bad life, and I stood up after knowing your deeds. Xiao Sifang was stunned. But, I can't figure out why you want to be with him. The quiet girl pointed at Sin Bo and said sadly, He is not good at all. His girlfriend fans are so scary. You don't know how many people are scolding you online. And he is like a turtle. Not saying a word. Sifang, listen to me. Don't want this kind of man. You deserve better. I never expected it to unfold like this. Xiao Sifang looked at the girl who was about to cry and secretly glanced at Sin Bo beside him. This little emotional impact should be completely ignored. However, Mr. Tsun's unshakable mask was broken. Even in such a dim environment, his face could feel obviously cold. He silently pulled out the energy panel and clicked on the major social platforms that he had not opened for a long time. After flipping around and coming back, he looked at Xiao Sifang. Do you know these news? Xiao Sifang said honestly, I didn't know it at first. But many people sent me messages asking me if it was true. So I saw it. Why didn't you tell me? What? Xiao Sifang was at a loss. I took a general look. And what everyone said was true. Sin Bo selected a comment and read it to her. Don't brag about Xiao Sifang's independent and self-reliant personality. Is she worthy of being compared with Sin Bo? Go and practice for another hundred years. Xiao Sifang looked at his face and said carefully, Is this wrong? Sin Bo laughed angrily. Xiao Tao. Chio Chio. The quiet girl couldn't sit still and said anxiously, It's wrong. It must be wrong. Is there anything wrong with you? Why does she say you are not worthy of being compared with Sin Bo? Xiao Sifang didn't quite understand why she was so angry, and calmly gave her an example, whether it is wealth and status, academic level, research results, combat ability, or breadth of thought. I am still far behind. She actually brought up so many aspects in one breath, and Xiao Tao and Chiu Chiu were stunned. The quiet girl was about to cry. But the person who said this obviously didn't mean it. She just wanted to talk down to you. 
Don't care about this kind of thing. There's nothing to be angry about. Xiao Sifang reached out and patted the quiet girl's shoulder, saying, Don't worry. I have made a series of plans. If nothing unexpected happens, I can catch up with his achievements when he was 40 in another 10 years. I promise. From her expression, it can be seen that every word she said was serious. Not to save face or comfort others. The quiet girl was both angry and amused. Sin Bo, who was not followed, called Sean. Please contact all the major social platforms for me. Some of the comments about me make me feel very uncomfortable. Please ask them to delete them for me. It is not a notice or a statement. It is just my legal right as an individual. I have the right to refuse any offensive arrangement. Sifong? She is not angry. I just found that her brain is different from that of normal people. And there is a deviation in the conversion of information. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. He was very gentle from beginning to end. With a calm tone and a very tight control of emotions. If it were not for the expressionless face, no one would know that he was angry. Xiao Sifang is a bit vindictive. And his brain is not the same as normal people. This sentence is definitely not a compliment in this context. She used what Sinbo had said to teach her. And blocked it back with confidence. Didn't you say that you should ignore what others do? It turns out that you are also talking without any pain. Sinbo glanced at her lightly. Don't fish in troubled waters and change the concept. What you just did is called retreating without fighting. And I am legally defending my rights. In short, he is right. Xiao Sifang lost again. The quiet girl looked at the two of them. And her expression eased a little. She hesitated for a while. But still went forward to hug Xiao Sifang. I'm glad that these things didn't affect you. I wish your dream comes true. I will also learn from you and continue to work hard. Chiu Chiu and Xiao Ao also said a few dry words of blessing. And the three of them quickly left the scene. Once the irrelevant people disappeared, Xiao Sifang seriously pulled out the precautions in the memo and read them aloud. Third precaution. It is strictly forbidden to get emotional. Sin Bo. Xiao Sifang. Fortunately, I wrote this in the precautions just in case. I didn't relax easily based on your past performance. Remember your promise. There will be no next time. Sin Bo. If I remember correctly, I just said to pay attention next time. Don't care about these details. Xiao Sifang failed to change the sky and the day. So he had to let him go and focused his attention on the Rubik's Cube. Come on. Let's compete. The two returned to the ice platform. Xiao Sifang placed a yellowish lamp on the table and switched the energy panel to the timing interface. We are all novices. In order to shorten the competition time, we just need to meet together. She explained the rules of the competition very professionally. Sin Bo said he had no objection. Xiao Sifang was the first to compete in this game. For experienced players, the Rubik's Cube is like a toy, and it can be solved in a few seconds or a minute. But for novices, it is harder than climbing to the sky. Xiao Sifang used all his life's learning and his scientific and engineering thinking to the limit. In the process of exploration, he also found some rules. But his eyebrows were still twisted together. Under the light, she pursed her lips tightly. Her dark eyes focused on the colorful Rubik's Cube. Her drooping eyelashes cast a firm shadow. And her whole face was full of the desire to succeed. Sin Bo was not surprised that Sifan didn't care about the various attacks on the internet. She always walked on her own way. She might give way to the side because she didn't want to cause trouble. But she never retreated. She was a spark that set the prairie ablaze. And even more so an inextinguishable fire. Appearing hot and dazzling in the darkness, where one could not see one's hand in front of one's face. All right. Xiao Sifang happily showed him the piece together side. Six minutes and eleven seconds. Sin Bo reached out and received the light and heat she passed on. The Rubik's Cube fell heavily into his palm. It's your turn. Break it up yourself. You have to break it up very well. Don't cheat. I'll time you. Sin Bo did as he was told. Breaking it up a few times. And started to fight on the other side. Xiao Sifang stared at his hands and the timer nervously. He felt that time was passing so slowly. Every second seemed to be infinitely stretched. Giving the opponent a lot of room to play. His fingers made a final turn. And the complete side appeared. And time had only passed for more than two minutes. Xiao Sifang was completely dumbfounded. It was impossible. As a little genius in mathematics. Physics and chemistry. How could she lose to someone who never put down his ancient Chinese books? I lost. Really lost. Xiao Sifang was hit hard. The corners of his mouth drooped. 
bitter. Sun Bo put away the Rubik's Cube and said with a smile, Then accept the loss. What I want you to do is. The deliberate pause made Xiao Sifang's heartbeat stop. Carry me around here for a circle. His clenched fists loosened unconsciously. And he slowly exhaled a long breath. Xiao Sifang stood up and patted his chest. Squatted in front of him without hesitation. And carried him on his back. Come on. I can carry you for two circles. Do you have to gamble for such a small matter? I can do it any time. Sin Bo looked at the small tufts of hair tied behind her head. Stretched out his hand to stroke them. And then lay on top of her without any hesitation. Xiao Sifang stood up and walked briskly at first. Until her chin touched her neck. And her slightly cool face and gentle breath were pressed tightly against her cheek. Once she was distracted. Her steps slowed down uncontrollably. Sin Bo lazily rubbed her face and ears. Constantly playing tricks. This is an incredible bad taste. Xiao Sifang endured it. There was no way. Who made him look good and smell good. After walking half a circle. The person on her back suddenly called her name. Sifang. She was puzzled. Huh? Actually. I just cheated. Ah? Sin Bo said in a distant tone. I have played this Rubik's Cube before. And read some tutorials and formulas in advance. There is such a thing. So you win just now. You can make a request to me. Xiao Sifang. Whose mood fluctuated. Really? Yeah. Xiao Sifang struggled with his mind for a long time. But finally obeyed his heart. And said the request of the person in the School of Life Sciences. Are you willing to return to the School of Life Sciences to continue your research? After saying that. She hurriedly added solemnly. You don't have to. Sin Bo rubbed her neck with his chin. So you occasionally looked at me and hesitated to speak during this period. Just for this matter? It turned out that he saw it. Xiao Sifan laughed dryly. And his tone was very serious, from my point of view. I think it's a pity that you have completely left the School of Life Sciences. You are so amazing and have made so many amazing achievements. You should be going higher and higher. But if you are happy and satisfied like now, then I think it is good too. Happiness and satisfaction are the most important things in life. Sin Bo did not speak for a long time. Xiao Sifang did not urge him and continued to carry him forward. The person who always stood in front was not heavy at all. If he did not want to go, she could carry him and continue to move forward. After a while, a faint sigh came into her ears. It's not fair. I only have you in my heart. But you have many other things in your heart. Xiao Sifang's scalp tightened. She subconsciously wanted to refute, but could not refute. After thinking for a while, she made a decision and righteously pushed the responsibility to her deceased father. It's my dad's fault. He gave me a name that's too big. It might also be my parents' fault. They gave me a name that's too light. That's why I can only occupy a very small corner? Xiao Sifang laughed dryly and nodded cheekily. It's possible. But I swear you definitely occupy more than just a small corner. But a big corner at the innermost corner. The person on her back laughed again. The sound penetrated her ears and brain and was transmitted from the skin to her beating heart, making her blush and unable to hold back her laughter. Okay, Sin Bo said, then I will be willing to accept the defeat reluctantly, and for the sake of fairness and justice, I will put something else in my heart. Xiao Sifang thought about it, and then shamelessly protected his position. Then I also want the innermost big corner. Okay, then, the two voices collided, extremely harmonious. Deal, on October 12th. 3,858. Sin Bo resumed his post as vice president of the Life Research Institute and returned to the front line of exploring the mysteries of life. On May 3rd, 3,864. Xiao Sifang solved the problem that the radioactive elements of catastrophic matter could not be detected at a long distance and invented a long distance scanner, which pushed forward the interstellar full inspection and cleanup plan by at least 200 years. On February 25th, 3,869. The team led by Tsin Bo discovered a new solution. Reducing the cost of peroxygen repair to one-tenth of the original. And the repair time to one month. On February 27th, 3,869. Xiao Sifang was appointed as the director of the equipment and technology department of the cleanup bureau. On April 1st, 3,872. The easy-to-operate extractable disaster material collection container was launched and the anti-alienation experiment of completely alienated cells was successful for the first time. On August 5th, 
3,877. Beneficial disaster materials that can offset some of the effects of disasters were discovered. On February 14, 3,878, the director of the Cleanup Bureau and the dean of the Life Research Institute, who had not seen each other for half a year, ran away at the same time. Later generations call this day Strike Day, also known as Valentine's Day. Yandi.